Hi, in this episode I would like to introduce you to the Timeline mode. This mode is used for synchronizing your animations and patterns with the song. I will show you the most important features it has and learn how to use it. But first of all, let's focus on some basics and let me explain what we are seeing right now. In the right top panel we have settings and tools. You can go to editor mode later in that course. If you hover the arrow over the help button, you will see the list of the shortcuts. And after clicking on it, the program will start downloading the full manual. Next to the help button, you will see settings button. Just obviously it's a settings panel. Go back to timeline. FPS, it just changes the number of frame per second of the animation, which is uh, helpful to calculate the uh, length of the animation, and it's helpful with the, the general speed of the laser show and uh, the animation. Next button is the uh, onion skinning. It's uh, like superimposing previous frames on top. I will show you and explain uh, this one a bit more later when we go to the editor mode explanation. Next button is, is toggling the larger preview window. So you will see the whole animation preview on the almost full, full screen. Uh, another one is toggling between uh, two-dimensional and three-dimensional frame previewing. Also, we'll show that a bit later uh, once we will load a, a sample animation over here. Next thing is audio file. And now we don't have any here, so let me load a sample file here. Okay, and the thing we are seeing right now is the waveform or it's like kind of waveform it's not a classic waveform you probably know from other audio software but it's pretty readable and good enough to become familiar with it the most important thing in waveform is that it's working with kind of frames now you can see the frame count over here and that means our audio file has 13,205 frames in total. If we go a bit closer and zoom in, you can see that we are just jumping from frame to frame. It will be very important a bit later once we will uh, starting to create our own animations and our own laser show but keep that in mind because that will be a bit helpful and important later in that course one more important thing about the audio file is that you can change the output volume it will be important uh, while the loudness of the speakers on some party will be way way much louder than expected and you won't be able to, to to change the volume of that speaker so you can always reduce the the volume over here also quick mute audio which is also helpful and that's all for this episode thank you for watching i hope all was clear of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask uh, to contact me directly and I'm happy to help.